Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, you will understand the process of recording job workout orders in Tally Prime. As a principal manufacturer of a product, you must be either purchasing raw materials from a vendor or manufacturing them in your own unit. Thereafter, you send the material to a job worker who manufactures the finished product. In such cases, you will need to record job workout transaction for the job worker a material out to keep a record of the raw material sent to the job worker and a material in when the finished product arrives at your godown or unit. To record such transactions, you will need to set up Tally Prime. Let's first see how to enable job order processing in Tally Prime. Press F11. Show more features. Show all features. And enable job order processing. Press Ctrl plus A to save the setting. Henceforth, you can use Tally Prime to record job work transactions. Now, let us see how to set up your voucher types to record job workout transactions. Let's first configure Material Out Voucher. Press Alt plus G. Alter Master. Voucher Type. Material Out. And press Enter. Set Use for Job Work. As Yes. Since you are the principal manufacturer, you do not need to enable Use for Job Work in. Press Ctrl plus A to save the voucher type. Now, let's configure material in voucher for a principal manufacturer. Press Alt plus G. Alter master voucher type material in and press enter. Set use for job work as yes. Set allow consumption as yes. As a principal manufacturer, the material in transaction will take place for the finished products which will be consumed in the form of sales or other purposes. Now, press Ctrl plus A to save the voucher type. Now that we have set up Tally Prime to record job workout transactions, we can create bill of materials for the finished product to use in the transaction. Consider that the finished product is a pressure cooker and the components or raw materials that make a pressure cooker are its body, top, gasket, safety valve and whistle. Tally Prime has a facility to create bill of materials for a stock item. For example, in the stock item created for cooker as the finished product, you can create bill of materials with its raw materials or components. This simplifies the process of recording job workout transactions for the stock item. Let's open the stock item. Press Alt plus G. Alter Master. Stock Item. Type or select the stock item created for the finished goods and press Enter. Press F12. And enable Set Components List, Bill of Materials in Stock Items. Press Ctrl plus A to save the configuration. Now, set Alter Components Bill of Material as Yes. Let's name the Bill of Material as Standard. Enter the Unit of Manufacture, say 1. Now, select the components from the list of stock items and the required quantity. After doing so, select End of List and press Enter. Press Ctrl plus A. To save the bomb, press Ctrl plus A to save the stock item. 
before you go on to record vouchers for the job workout we recommend you to use a separate go down to track the quantity of components that is with you and that with the job worker now let's see how to record job workout order for the, the job worker press alt plus g create voucher and press f10 or click other vouchers type or select job workout and press enter select the job workers party select the ledger account created for the job worker from the list of ledger accounts this is the job worker who will assembling the raw materials provided by you to make the finished product provide the dispatch details duration of process is the number of days that will be consumed in assembling the components or raw materials to make a finished product nature of processing can be assembling production or any other based on the product press control plus a to save the dispatch details screen The party details will be prefilled based on the information given in the master. You can make changes if needed. Press control plus A to save. Enter the order number. Select the finished product as the stock item, say cooker. Track components must be set to yes. Enter the due on date based on the duration of process entered in the dispatch details screen. Select go down as that created for the job worker. Enter the quantity of the finished product. You can view the details of boom. Press control plus A to save. Enter the rate Enter narration if needed and press control plus A. Now press alt plus G. Type or select job workout orders and press enter. As you can see the job workout order appears here. Press alt plus F5 and you can view the details of the stock item. Now let's record the material out voucher for the stock item sent to the job worker. Press Alt plus G. Create voucher and press F10 or click other vouchers. Type or select material out and press Enter. Select the party account from the list of ledger accounts. Select the order number details. Other details get filled based on the information provided in the job workout order. Enter the dispatch document number if it is available with you. Press control plus A to save. The party details will be prefilled. Press control plus A to save. As you can see, the stock items that are raw material get prefilled based on the information provided in the job workout order. Select destination go down as the go down created for the job worker. Enter narration if needed and press control plus A to save. Now, press alt plus G. Type or select material out vouchers. and press enter as you can see the material out voucher appears here press alt plus f5 and you can view the details of the stock items now once your job worker sends you the finished goods you can record a material in voucher for the same press alt plus g create voucher and press F10 or click other vouchers type or select material in and press enter select the party account from the list of ledger accounts select the order number details 
Other details get filled based on the information provided in the job workout order. Enter the chalan number if available with you. Press Ctrl plus A to save. The stock item gets filled with the finished product with the quantity and rate as per that provided in the job workout order. Select the consumption go down which is the go down at which the finished goods will be kept and consumed. Enter consumption details is yes or no. If you want to set it as no then press F12. and set allow auto consumption of stock items as no and press control plus e to save in this case you will need to enter the consumption details manually with the details of the components for this instance let's allow auto consumption press f12 and set allow auto consumption of stock items as yes and press control plus e to save Enter narration if needed and press control plus A to save. Now press alt plus G. Type or select material in vouchers and press enter. As you can see the material in voucher appears here. Press alt plus F5 and you can view the details of the stock items. After recording all the vouchers related to the job workout, let's view other relevant reports that you may require to track the movement of stock items. Press Alt plus G. Type or select stock summary and press Enter. Press Alt plus F5. and you can view the details of stock items along with the quantity available in the respective go downs press escape now press alt plus g type or select material movement register for job workout order and press enter press f8 for job workout to view job workout order details You can get all the details such as delivery chalan number, date of dispatch, description of goods dispatched, quantity dispatched to job worker and others related to the job worker out orders. This gives you a holistic view of job workout orders recorded in Tally Prime. Press escape. Now, it may happen that you sent some raw material to a job worker. However, you received the quantity of finished goods either more or less than the expected quantity. You can identify such cases using the issue variance and receipt variance reports. Let's open the issue variance report. Press Alt plus G. Type or select issue variance and press enter. Press F8. to view it for job workout as you can see the issued quantity that you must have entered in the job work order out voucher is more than the ordered quantity entered in the material in voucher therefore the report displays a variance of 100% now let's open the receipt variance report press alt plus g type or select receipt variance and press enter press f8 for job workout as you can see the ordered quantity that you must have entered in the job work order out voucher is less than the received quantity entered in the material in voucher therefore the report displays a variance of 40% As you saw, Tally Prime provides you with all the facilities to record job workout orders. You can create bill of materials and ensure that the components are considered at the time of material out voucher creation. Further, you can ensure auto consumption during material in voucher creation. 
You can also track movement of goods with go-downs created for job worker and consumption. You also have a variety of reports to stay abreast of the movement of materials between different go-downs. And the issue and receipt variance reports ensure that you stay aware whenever there is a variation between the ordered quantity and issued or received quantity. Thank you. To know more about Tally Prime features, visit help.tallysolutions.com. Subscribe to the Tally Solutions channel for the latest videos.